Hi, you're welcome to Sass TV. My name is Belendez, and this is what's going on for you. God bless ya. And I cannot wait to see the new you from the top of the reading of course. I'm saying there's going to be some messages that's going to come in. A message is going to come in that's going to make you walk away from a situation. I do feel like uh, you're going to be going in a new direction when it comes down to property matters. You're going to skip over, walk away and skip over it and walk into something new. I do see whatever you're looking at as far as a future with someone. Uh, property matters wise, you need to, you need to uh, don't long on that because I feel like you're going to be moving somewhere else. There's somebody else that you have anyway. There's an authority figure here that you deal with anyway. One of your focuses is getting rid of a certain type of income. Or there's something with income that you're going to be ending. It could be an overspending. It could be something, but you're going to be ending that. I do see you sitting here ending that. Yeah, you're definitely going to be ending that. Now, when it comes down to new things, you're going to be going after new monies uh, and new ideas. And you're going to be doing some traveling. Surprisingly, new monies is coming in. I do see whatever this thing was that you got upset about with this property matter is, by all means, just keep on moving because if you keep looking down at whatever this is that's going to be come come in, won't come in and you can't receive it the way that you want to receive. You're just kind of in your feelings a little bit about something, but you have moved on from a situation. Whatever you was hoping on to the last string, the string popped and you moved back to somebody else. Things are looking good for you. Really, really, really good. You just have to let go of whatever this is. Things are looking happy and there's going to be some changes coming in when it comes down to your relationships. Feeling the blame for communication out of jealousy has nothing to do with you. This person did and left you behind. Don't take ownership in that. Move on to the new person. Quit trying to figure it out. Quit trying to figure it out. Okay. Here we go with positive changes. Okay. I do see you elevating. They say it's going to be an elevation. First, you're going to be looking at your income and thinking, what can you do to change it? The first thing you're going to do to change it, I don't know what you're going to do, but it's not going to go the way you want it to go. It looks like that happened the month before, but this time you did it again and you learned from it. So you're going to come away from whatever that is. And you're also going to come. This person is still around you. You're going to come away from any type of communication with this person. Please stick with this new authority figure because they communicate better. And it, they're not from where you're from. Whoever the other person is from where you're from, this person is not from where you're from. Okay. I do see. I do feel as though you're keeping your eye on somebody else. Or maybe somebody's trying to keep their eye on you or watching how you spend your money. But that's going to end. Whatever this is, has you feeling like you're being looked upon. On how the way you spend your money, that's going to end too. That's confidence. That's self confidence. Now, one thing about it is there may be some type of money ending here. I told you you were going to stop something. There's an income ending here. Something with your job is going to switch. Either you're going to be ending up working at home or you're going to be ending up working in a place where you're just there. Okay? So that's what's going And you don't like it. So other than that, money's looking good. New people are looking good. New love is looking good. You're going up the ladder. You just got to stay focused on what you want. This is a good time to go after career. This is a good time to go after any type of money matters. They will turn out well. I just feel like you're just not motivated to really push or you just do. You're just okay with the way that your life is going. Not that it's bad. It's just you just it just seems like you're trying to get the answers to something. And it's saying you just should move on to whatever these new situations are. Okay. Here we go with the next one. So with this next one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Communications, changes, things going back and forth. Authority, this new person that's coming in is a better fit for you. And you're thinking it and you're knowing it. You may reject the person at first, but this person will not leave you out in any kind of situation. You are so focused on whoever this other person is for some reason. Career is coming up. Career is coming up very strong, okay? You may walk away from that and walk into something uh, a little bit less strenuous, but at the same time, whatever this is with property matters and this person, you can't come away from. You want to be happy in your home. That's one thing. But you had your heart set on something. And something new is going to surprise you in about two months with property matters and monies. And this stuff is going to pick up. Whatever this is that has you feeling in a funk, this stuff is going to pick up. The stuff is picking up. But it's you that has the sadness in the car. That's, I'm telling you, every, things are picking up and things are picking up, but you just keep being drawn back to you not having these answers. And that is what's making the situation feel like nothing is happening. It's because the energy that you are projecting onto the new things that is happening. They're going to come in, but you won't be able to enjoy them because of whatever the other situation is, okay? 
You may even think about walking away from your job, home, and whatever this is, is all it's got you sad. It's good things around you, just something has you bothered. I, I don't know. I'm not trying to figure it out, okay? Mm -hmm. The more you feel down, the more you're going to feel responsible for whatever it is. Please be careful. Now, you feel like somebody's about to walk away from something, so you're still in the other situation over there. That's dead. This new person. This new person. This new person is really going to be for you. This new person is really going to be for you. And it's going to help you move forward. You may not even be with them a long time. But whoever this person is, is pushing you forward in something. You're going you're gonna to get some good news about some type of something you're trying to do. But you're still sad and at an ending about a housing situation. You want to uplift yourself. You want to think about it different. You can't. You, you, just, you just bent. You bent about a housing situation, period. I'm just going to tell you that. You bent on that. You're very bent on that, but there's new things coming. It keeps saying you bent on it. Things are trying to present itself in a new way. You just keep having your mind on that. If you have your mind on that, you have no balance in your personal reality because whatever this is that you are banking on or was banking on, the you know, these things are coming, the side business type thing is coming in. There's a new person in that's going to come in that's going to push you to do whatever you need to do financially. Not like that. It could come through the relationship. It's still saying no matter what, what? You bent on it. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. I like that. I know I like it too. I ain't know it was cute like this. I know I ain't know it was cute like this until I put it on. Except for the shoes. Well, oh, well, I, didn't have no, I don't have no but other shoes. Fine. Yeah. If those are blue, I needed some blue, right? I needed some blue. I couldn't find them. I'm gonna but go look for some. Like, at least they're class. At least they're rose. You know that I'm on, on here, right? So this is what's going on. So you finally get the picture, and you want to go after this is that you want to go. You're still holding the inner sadness and an ending in your heart with something. You are holding it for three months, but you're still reacting. You're still living your life, but things seem to have a little funk on them. But it's okay. There's some, somebody, somebody could have passed or something. Something could have happened, but there is a loss here where someone made you feel like you're responsible. You're not letting it go. It's very strong in your cards. Money's looking good. Whatever this property thing is that I told you was going to change at this time, you're not even looking at it change. Something with this authority figure and this childishness made you reevaluate your income and you're going out the new jobs at this time. Hallelujah. And then you renew yourself and something good comes in with family. Some travel, some vacation, something. Things are looking good. See, even if you didn't, if you just would have been thinking a little bit more positive when these things came in, you can enjoy them. Instead of just executing them like, okay, I'll do whatever. So, good things are coming. You're thinking. Knowledge is here. You're not so defenseful. You're looking out for situations that are best for you when it comes down to relationships and you're walking away. You're going to be happy in this new property. Whatever this is, you didn't get, but you're going to be happy in the new one. That new one going to either be two to three days later or two to three months later. But you're going to be upset about it. And you're coming further or further away from what your life was to where these things began to happen. Further or further away from whoever that other person is. And kind of not around that other person. The other person is, I mean, I feel like that other person is good for you. Even if you don't get in a situation. It could be an uncle. It could be someone. But it, whatever they're around you for, they're pushing you in a direction. Your money is going to be looking up for you. Money's going to be looking up for you. If you decide to do anything with loans and all that, you go ahead and do it. And the only thing that's going to be stopping you is you. If if you started thinking about anything in the past that stopped you and you're not strong enough to look beyond what you think, you will end everything positive for you this year. I'm telling you the truth. You're going to have to travel to go to this property. It's a, it's a little ways, but it's going to look good for you. It's a little ways. That job is right there, too. Someone where you ever you work or was working or you're going to work or in your inner circle is going to pop up and try to and try to uh, talk to you about something. Or this person may come back months later and try to talk to you about something, but you're not trying to hear it because it looks like at this time that you got somebody coming in that's really that's ready to, at this time. By the time you're good and ready in there, and this person comes around to talk to you, this is not the authority figure. This is the one that's from the beginning, beginning. By that time, I don't know how. A, Longer part this is, I don't know if you at that time dating somebody for a long time and y'all about to get engaged. It looked like you done got married to somebody. It looked like you could be, be getting ready to commit to somebody. You're going to move in and commit to somebody. And they're trying to stop it. They're going to try to stop it. They're going to do little childish stuff. 
but you still got your eyes on the money. All they're going to do is remind you of what it was to be with them when you wasn't with them, when you thought you was. That type of situation. Things are moving for you. You have a lot of cloud around your readings. Why I couldn't give you any pinpoints because your moods is what's making me feel like you want it coming, but you're not. You just have something in the way of being joyful. There's something in the way of being joyful. I don't know how those time friends going to work with these relationships. Because all of a sudden you was there, you was here, you was here. Then all of a sudden you moved in and you started feeling better. And family started coming around. Things started feeling like they were lively again. Then all of a sudden, kaboom. It's like you're getting ready to get into a relationship. It looks, it looks like you got that property before that. It could be that guy. It could definitely be that new authority figure. But he seems a little distant. This guy seems like he's 34 or something. Middle-aged type guy. My name's Belen Best. God bless you, mama.